Welcome everyone to this introductory video on Conlon, a pseudo song generator based on a new piano roll, Wasserstein autoencoders and optimal interpolations. My name is Tijn Borghuis and this paper is joint work with Luca Angioloni and Paolo Frasconi of the University of Florence and Lorenzo Brusci of the company Musico. It is a compressed contribution to Benaik Benelearn. The paper was first presented at ISMIR 2020 conference. The name Conlon was chosen in honor of the composer Conlon Nancaro, a pioneer of piano roll composition, and stands for channeled onset of notes and length of notes. In this paper, we focus on the autonomous generation of polyphonic and multi-instrument MIDI partitures, aiming at producing relatively long pseudo-songs that are effectively usable in a professional context, just like the music you are hearing right now as a background which was generated by our system. We do this through the use of a novel piano roll-like representation, PRC, the use of Wasserstein autoencoders, and the definition of strategies for exploring the Wasserstein autoencoder latent space. We also introduce in this paper two new datasets that were not extracted from existing collections, but have been especially composed and edited by musicians made aware of creating training sets for generative models, perhaps for the first time in this research area. One dataset is in genres acid jazz, soul and funk, the other in high pop and progressive trance. Before MIDI data can be fed into a learning algorithm, it needs to be arranged in a proper description format. Binary or Boolean piano rolls are among the most common representations. They are, however, a lossy description of MIDI data in at least two ways. First, they do not include note velocities, which are important for dynamic expression in many musical genres. Second, they make it impossible to distinguish between long notes and repeated occurrences of the same notes. Due to this second limitation, the PR description may suffer a fundamental problem when there are imperfections in the reconstructions generated by a trained model. False negatives in the reconstruction may shatter a long note into several shorter ones, which can produce a musically obsessive and unpleasant result. The solution proposed in this paper uses a second channel that explicitly represents note durations as continuous variables. Our PRC description does not suffer the ambiguity between long notes and repeated occurrences of the same note and, except for time quantization, is completely lossless. Additionally, it can be perceptually more robust to reconstruction errors. In a multi-track context, the tracks are stacked together on the channel axis. As a generative model, we experiment with Wasserstein autoencoders. To the best of our knowledge, they have not been applied to music generation before. Wasserstein autoencoders penalize a measure of discrepancy d between the expected p of x given z and the prior p of z, pushing the expectation inside the distance. In all our experiments, we employed the maximum mean discrepancy for d and the Gaussian prior, and we structured the encoder and the decoder as in the DC GAN architecture which is a 2D CNN. Our generation strategy is formulated as an optimization problem for exploring the autoencoder latent space in a way that prevents abrupt transitions between consecutively generated patterns, as well as regions with little variation. A pseudo song is generated by creating a trajectory of length t, consisting of z1 to zt, in the latent space and applying g, the generator model to each latent vector to produce a corresponding sequence of patterns. We defined two strategies, interpolation and swirling. When using autoencoders, we have the choice of picking a start pattern and a goal pattern and use the encoder to obtain a start and goal point in the latent space. Trajectories connecting start and goal are then computed with a linear or a spherical interpolation. For swirls, the latent trajectories are produced by taking real and imaginary parts of periodic complex-valued parametric functions, as shown in the graphic. 
smoothness can be achieved by maximizing the minimum distance between consecutive reconstructions and constraining the final length to L, solving the following optimization problem where delta is a distance function on patterns and h a look-ahead horizon, i.e. the maximum allowed number of positions that may be skipped. Validation of music generation methods requires the judgment of human experts. When only a limited amount of expert time is available, it becomes difficult to cover all different dimensions on which alternative methods can be compared. Hence we decided to complement human evaluation of the usability and coherence of pseudosongs with automatically computed metrics on pattern reconstruction and shattered notes. We compared Wasserstein autoencoders fed by PR descriptions with Wasserstein autoencoders fed by PRC descriptions in their reconstruction of patterns from the test set. These results indicate that PR yields good recall but very low precision compared to PRC and has a higher error on both velocity and duration than PRC on all three datasets. This could be partially explained by the presence of a high number of shattered nodes. To verify this hypothesis, we computed the node number growth due to shattering for all the nodes in the test set. As the table shows, the Wasserstein autoencoder fed with PR descriptions increases the number of nodes by a substantially larger factor than the Wasserstein autoencoder fed with PRC descriptions for all three datasets. We conducted three listening experiments with a total of 69 professional musicians. In the first two experiments, the subjects performed a comparison task in which they listen to a pair of short music tracks, 64 bars, and indicate which of the two tracks is most usable in the context of mainstream music production. These experiments showed that musicians find pseudo songs generated with Wasserstein autoencoders and PRC descriptions more usable in music production than pseudo songs generated with other state of the art systems and PR descriptions and that they find pseudosongs generated by Wasserstein autoencoders with PRC descriptions more usable than pseudosongs generated by the same Wasserstein autoencoder with PR descriptions. In the third listening experiment, we asked musicians to listen to a single track, 64 bars taken from a longer piece, and assess the musical development of the composition over time, with regards to four aspects, harmony, rhythm, melody and interplay of instruments, each judged on a five-point Likert scale ranging from very incoherent to very coherent. The experiment showed that musicians find the development over time of pseudo-songs generated with Wasserstein autoencoders and PRC descriptions coherent rather than incoherent with respect to all four aspects. Conlon combines the new PRC data description with Wasserstein autoencoders and generation strategies based on optimized interpolation and swirling to produce pattern-based pseudosongs. When trained on coherent datasets, the generated material is musically coherent and potentially useful in music production by professional musicians. The coherence of pseudosongs is entirely due to the properties of the latent space. In the generation, longer-term structure is not considered. In that sense, Interpolating and swirling are closer to improvisation than to composition in musical practice. A natural next step is to label dataset patterns with structural categories, like verse and chorus, and introduce musical form via mechanisms of conditioning. Thank you for your attention.